What up, what up, what up? This is Star with Stars and Wisdom. What's good, Taurus? How are you, Bull Gang? I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're back, what's good? Uh, this is going to be a love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus uh, regarding a soulmate, twin flame, someone from your soul tribe, family member, friend, friend of me, boo thang, uh, anyone or anything regarding love, basically, in the next seven days. All right. Um, this is a general message. So if it doesn't resonate, that's okay. It may not be a message for you at this time. You may also want to check your moon, rising, Venus signs as well. Um, I'm going to be talking about sex for the rest of this week. Okay. So all the readings this week, um, I'm talking about sex towards the end. So I pick up your um, the sexual energy or intentions between you and the person that you're dealing with or connected to at this time. Um, so if you don't want to hear about that, then, uh, I'll let you know towards the end when I'm about to do that and you can click off. All right. Anywho, let's go ahead and get into it, Taurus. But before I start, happy motherfucking birthday, Taurus. Happy birthday to you all. Okay. <laughs> I know we still kind of in this quarantine, but you know, y'all still to celebrate anyway. So Taurus for the next seven days. Also, I'm going to give y'all a birthday. I'm going to start doing birthday bonus reading. So, you guys are the first. Um, you guys are going to get an extra bonus reading for your birthday. All right? All right, creation. Some of you guys, um, this could be something that you created with somebody could be a child could be a project but i feel like you don't want to let go of something here okay or you didn't want to let go of something that you created um but uh i definitely felt some of you guys aren't being your authentic your authentic self some of you guys aren't keeping it real with yourself and that's why um you're having a hard time releasing something in order to create something new so it says being creative is a wonderful way of witnessing the unfolding of your limitless soul so I do feel that you guys are, um, some of you guys are trying to create something. It could be a creative endeavor. You could be trying to have a baby, something. But there's something that you are not releasing from the past that is stopping you. Um, and that's a block for you moving forward. So you guys are going to need to use wisdom in this situation or gain, uh, get some type of wisdom, information, guidance. Um, that could be why you're here. You know what I'm saying? But um, let's see what sign you could be doing with Taurus. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aries, an Aries sun, moon rising, or Venus sign. All right, I'm going to get another one because everybody, I think a lot of y'all got, uh, a lot of people got two people or energies. Um, but it could be the same person though, Sag. So you could be dealing with a Sag, sun, moon rising, or Venus sign as well. I'm going to get a message for both. For the Aries. Taurus dealing with the Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. The message is, someone has inappropriate fantasies about a past lover. The fantasy causes someone to act on their lust. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. So if you're dealing with the Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign, um, either you or this person is having some inappropriate, inappropriate, in who country, um, when well, y'all could be from the country, it's from the South or something, but, uh, somebody's having inappropriate fantasies about a past lover. And that is definitely causing somebody to act out on some type of lust. So somebody may be getting caught up in the next seven days as far as fantasizing about somebody. Um, or somebody may have found out that somebody was, uh, fantasizing inappropriately about, um, a lover. Okay. Or a past lover, which could be definitely having this person act out in some type of way. But let's get um, one for the Sag. Your divine purpose is to be a parent to a gifted child or kids. Take good care of the most high chosen ones. Whoa. All right. So if uh, you could be a Taurus um, and your divine purpose was to be a parent of a gifted child who could be a Sag or have Sag in their chart, they could be a Sage. Um, and it was your purpose to, uh, take good care of what, you know, one or two of the most or more of the most highest chosen, uh, children there. So it could be star seeds. It could be, um, just chosen 
the chosen ones, the 144,000 or something like that. So it could be a Sagittarian that, um, it could be your parent. Um, some of you guys, it could be that your child, like I said, is either a sage or has Sagittarian in their chart. Okay. Or you could be, um, about to have a child that is going to be a Sagittarius, uh, who's going to be gifted. Okay. But it's one of the most highs chosen. So make sure you're doing well by this kid. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, um, for the Aries individual, what is this person's energy towards you? What's going on between you and the Aries? All right, so some of you guys could be uh, working on a new business idea. Your guides have been intuitively nudging you to just do it, or it could be this Aries. But it could have uh, required, or required, it could have been some heartbreak involved. Because uh, somebody was material well off, but not spiritually or emotionally satisfied. So I feel like somebody went towards a new um, endeavor, which helped them to go from not being spiritually satisfied to becoming spiritually satisfied. So it could be a spiritual based practice or business. So this person could definitely be focused on work right now. Um, they could also be focused on a, a pregnancy. So this person could be trying to get pregnant or be um, thinking that they are pregnant might be. They may be going to the doctors or need to go to the doctors regarding a possible pregnancy. Um, some of you guys may need to, this person may want to have a baby. So they may need to um, seek some type of guidance in order to get pregnant. All right, so this person is definitely going to focus on business and a possible Bambino on the way. All right, um, this person could also be dealing with some type of alcohol or drug addiction at this time. Um, or they could be overindulging in drink or overindulging in the weed or, you know, saying something because they are ignoring uh, the positive that they are experiencing. Okay, or this could be you. Maybe you ran from this person um, because you were ignoring the positive that you had with them and you felt like it was too much conflict. You wanted to run away from conflict. You may have felt like this person was a bitch. You may have felt like they were sarcastic, cold. Um, but I feel like it was just that they needed to recuperate after some type of depression. Okay, or this could have been you. Yeah, I feel like now this person is more content with themselves and they have found some type of inner peace. Yeah, after a transformation. Now there's a new you, okay? But I feel definitely that somebody is uh, trying to walk away from the situation, or maybe you walked away from the situation uh, because somebody could have been possibly pregnant and you could have had um, a drug addiction. So some of you guys, this person is deciding to focus on business because they know that you could have had a pregnancy elsewhere or that you... Um, had something else going on or that you had some type of drug addiction going on or alcohol addiction. All right. So let's see. So this person could have decided to focus on a business endeavor, um, even though they they thought they may be pregnant or something like that. All right. So, yeah, I feel like um, they felt like you were crying over spilled milk or you were too focused on a past situation. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And they were focused on building some type of stability, um, realizing that they were abundant and financial wealth was coming in soon for them. So I feel like there could have been a business opportunity that you could have um, had with this person. But you could have been too stuck on the or in the past or too stuck in your feelings about the past. And so I feel like this person decided to make a quick move towards financial security and stability um, and realized that something, someone from the past was just a one night stand. OK, maybe this person uh, realized you were just a, you should have just been a one night stand or you realize this person should have just been a one night stand. But either way, I feel like they are definitely focused on um, some type of new passion and they feel like you are just too in your feelings. OK, about um, the past. Uh, so some of you guys, if you're working towards a pregnancy, if this person is trying to get pregnant, says spirit, uh, your hard work is going to pay off. Things may be slowly moving, but surely it will happen. Um, some of you guys, there was a one night stand situation that led to a possible pregnancy, but I feel like, um, somebody is trying to focus on work right now to manifest their true desires, okay? 
And there may be somebody that um, you had a one night stand with that's saying, oh, I'm pregnant, woo, 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 or something like that. Um, but yeah, I feel like that made you become a workaholic. Um, you were completely focused on work, uh, invested in work, just doing the most, or you could be doing that now. Some of you guys are trying to focus on becoming an artist, a singer, an actor, and you could be waiting for information about a pregnancy. Yeah, but somebody may be having some control issues. Maybe this person feels like you have control issues. You could have been trying to control the situation because you thought you had somebody pregnant or you had a baby with somebody or something. All right, yeah. I feel like somebody is uh, possibly, this person may be feeling like you're ungrateful, you know, um, and that you may have a drug or alcohol addiction. Yeah, but, and they may feel that you are deliberately ignoring the positive that you have in your life and become, and you're discontent and stuck because of some type of spiritual warfare. Um, but I do feel like they are trying to walk away from conflict from, or with you because they know that you're going through something emotionally. Um, they know that you're crying about the past or upset about the past. Um, so I feel like now this person is focused on, um, They've been, I feel like they've been focused on putting in the hard work and effort and maybe you weren't um, because you were focused on the past and you were being ungrateful and you may have had some type of addiction, drugs, alcohol. But yeah, I feel like this person feels like you are deliberately ignoring the positive in your life and that you're stuck. But um, I feel like this person wants you to remove yourself from whatever mental imprisonment that you put yourself in. Don't allow fear to overcome you. Yeah, it could be... Um, a Libra that you're dealing with, okay? Or you could have Libra in your chart. Yeah, but somebody is emotionally detached because they feel like um, you could be stuck in your head about finances and they're trying to build up money, save money, invest, okay? Um, this person is no longer juggling partners, all right? So let's see. For the Sag energy... I'm hearing sage, like, maybe it's not a Sagittarius, maybe this person is just a sage, um, they may have sage in their chart, alright, so if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, this person may definitely be in their head, um, thinking about getting locked up, thinking about being imprisoned in some, for some reason, um, they feel like they're not highly respected, you know, in this situation, or they may be, okay, so this could be like a parent, this person, or this parent may feel that you don't respect them, that you're not putting in the work, but it's because you could have had them, uh, locked up or in some type of mental imprisonment, um, or they could have had you locked up or in some type of mental imprisonment, and, uh, that's why you aren't putting in the work with this person. Yeah, because I feel like there's an ending, there's a collapse to a toxic karmic connection here. Let's see. If you're done with the Sag. All right, yeah, somebody was ignoring the truth here. So you could have been ignoring the truth about this person or this person was ignoring the truth about you. Um, you could have been ignoring the truth about an air sign and a Sag. Or it could have been you and a Sag. But either way, somebody needed to love themselves. And um, that's why there wasn't mutual love between you and somebody here, okay? So it could have been that between you and the Sag, there wasn't real love between you guys. It was just meant to teach you how to love and care for yourself. Um, yeah, somebody was needing to heal from an illness and needed to rest, and that was a way for you to care for yourself. Um, but I feel like this person was, or you, were focused on manifesting abundance in all areas of your life, and so you could have been ignoring the truth of the situation, or somebody was ignoring the truth. All right, yeah, this person, you may have been ignoring the truth about this person and their intentions. This person could have had evil intentions or this person could have uh, an evil entity within them. I don't know, but somebody has some evil intentions here and I feel like you could have been ignoring the truth and this person, so it could have been a Sag um, that was stopping you from forward movement, moving forward in this connection could have been with the air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, you could have had a business relationship or partnership or investment with this person, but you could have been ignoring the truth about someone else that was trying to stop this from happening. Yeah, but I feel like now somebody is ready to take action towards this connection, but um, I feel like the other person um, is emotionally unavailable now because they like, nah. What happened to uh? What happened to back then when I was trying to get you on my team, bruh? You know? Let's see, though. 
you're dealing with the Sag. So this could have been um, a gifted child that somebody was keeping mentally enslaved or keeping uh, locked up or locked away or stuck and trapped in their mind in fear. And this person could have, this parent could have been ignoring the truth about their child because they had evil intentions from the jump. They could have been trying to, to block this child specifically from forward movement because they knew that this child had a divine purpose. They knew this child was chosen. Okay. Could be you. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like now this person's mourning in grief, okay? So there could be a Sag mourning in grief because they wanted you to stay imprisoned by them. But now they see you celebrating and you got good news. So now they want to reunite with you, but they feel defeated, okay? So this person could feel defeated because you have good news coming in because you celebrating. Um, but they wanted you to stay locked up or they wanted you to stay in some type of mind control. Yeah, you could have been ignoring the truth that somebody was emotionally manipulative or that you were being emotionally manipulative because of money, because you wanted uh, financial stability. But I feel like this person could have uh, brought in financial stability. You guys both could have been financially stable, but you were ignoring the truth about this connection, that things were balanced. You could have been um, focused on the past, focused on being trapped in your mind about someone from the past. Okay, someone who was emotionally manipulative could have been a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But yeah, I do feel like uh, this person wants to move forward now. And they want to drop their guards. They no longer want to um, block you or, or be guarded in this situation. They don't want you to stand your ground. Because this person, I feel like this person never wants you to stand your ground or stand up to them or you know speak up for yourself because they had evil intentions from the jump. Or, like I said, they could have been an evil entity. All right. Um, or had an evil entity within them, if y'all, if y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, I see NY, so somebody could be from New York. All right, let me show you. New York, right there. Okay, so, um, yeah, I definitely feel like this person was trying to stop you or uh, this other person from moving forward, all right, to a positive business investment, maybe because they wanted to control the finances or control the situation. Yeah, okay, so let's get into the sex parts. So if you are dealing with this person in a romantic way, intimately or whatever, um, or you want to hear about sex, then you can stay right with me, <laughs> okay? So if you're dealing with the Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Taurus, let's see. All right, so I feel like this person is no longer single. So you may have been dealing with them when they were single, or you may have wanted them to stay single because um, they had options or whatever before. I feel like now they are not single. They are not um, single and mingling. And I feel like you could be masturbating and thinking about this person. Maybe you think about this person uh, doing a 69 with you or how they used to do it. Yeah, somebody um, I want to fuck you is what this say. OK, um, somebody definitely you could definitely want to fuck this person because they are complete sexual fulfillment to you. You feel like they were a positive encounter for you or this could be how this person is thinking about you. So you can see that this person might not be single no more and you're like, damn, uh, okay. So somebody here, um, you may not have been able to get it up with this person before, um, or the person that you with could be a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person can't get it up because they're not sexually aligned. Okay. So I feel like at one point you guys were emotionally satisfied with each other. Um, you could be in a relationship with this person, or you could have been in one with this person before. Um, others of you, I feel like you were letting them play the field or whatever and having them wait, but you realize that they are your complete sexual fulfillment. It's just, um, I felt like, uh, you can't get it up for some reason. Okay. Uh, yeah, this person, you, either you a player or this person feels like you a player. Let's see though.
Yeah, so somebody was, uh, you guys could have been in a relationship, and I feel like it may have ended with this person, because uh, you guys were completely sexually fulfilled, um, or you were sexually fulfilled by this person, but somebody else wasn't, uh, yeah, I feel like, but somebody else wasn't able to get it up, or something like that. Alright, yeah, um, could be a twin flame. But I feel like somebody may have been in a relationship with you um, pretending to be your twin flame or something like that uh, because they wanted financial stability. Watch out. This person could be a player. All right. So um, I feel like this person could want to talk to you dirty, want to hit you up and talk nasty or something like that. Um, this person could have or they could have hit you up in cancer season. So what's that? July-ish, you know? Yeah, but I feel like you were uh, pushed to keep moving forward. Or they could be dealing with a cancer who can't keep it up for them. You know what I'm saying? Or who can't keep get it wet for them or something like that. Yeah, because there's no passion. Alright, I'm back, y'all. Let me get some advice for y'all real quick. If you're dealing with the Aries. Alright, so there could have been an opportunity that you uh, missed because you didn't go after it. Um, but, yeah, I feel like somebody else may have maybe gone for it and it's it's working out, okay? And I feel like there may have not been a victory in the situation because um, somebody was focused on passion or was, you know, was focused on uh, some type of lust. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like somebody is deciding to go towards a new passion and go uh, release this situation and release the heartbreak of this situation. All right. Yeah, it's time for you to call out to your ancestors, your guides, your angels, and meditate and release this situation. Regarding a Sag, you dealing with the Sag? All right. Um, I feel like you may need to protect yourself from this person. Yeah, because you may have felt like this person uh, cared for you or something like that, but you may need to be careful so you can protect your relationship or something. Yeah, because somebody here was immature in love um, and needed some need some type of emotional growth. All right, yes. The answer is yes. Protect yourself from this uh, person. Could be a Sagittarian. Yeah, change your diet. That doesn't have to be just what you eat. It's what you hear, what you're watching, what you listen to, and also who you be around. Yeah, you need to eat clean to cleanse from a situation, possibly, and protect yourself from someone who is immature regarding uh, loving you, okay? Could definitely be a Sag, but, um, and it could be apparent for some of you guys. Oh, if you're dealing with a Sag sexually, let me get that real quick, let me see. This person thinking. All right, yeah, so I feel like um, you, this person had, is, could be watching you have sex at the house. All right, so I feel like there's no romance between you and this person. Um, let's see. Yeah, I feel like this may be somebody that you're not intimate uh, with necessarily. Yeah, um, you could be choosing lo um, love instead of this past situation. Okay, um, some of you guys, like I said, you may not be dealing with the Sag sexually. But um, yeah, this could be a romance based on money. But I feel like somebody's walking away from a situation with a Sag and going towards true love because they no longer want to be a part of a lustful connection, um, whether that is family, friends, or a lover. All right. So, Taurus, uh, look out for your birthday bonus reading. Much love to you. Laters.